Before arriving in this age, I was determined that it would be a journey to a world very different from our previous adventures. And it was. The sky here is dark and grey and incessantly displays flashes of lightning in the distance. I met a very old man with a long beard and hair that hangs to his waist. He is very feeble and has trouble even moving. This man has obviously been through many things in this strange world, and I have learned many things from him. He told me an interesting story of this world's history. Years ago, he told me, there was a beautiful city that rose up out of the water. It housed many people inside its walls, and the, peop and the people had everything they wished for. The city was surrounded by three high hills, which rose higher than the city. On the east hill of the city rested a large lookout post. The people from the city had constructed a post, expecting visitors to arrive in the east. The people had no means of traveling on the water, which forced them to merely wait for friend or foe. As time passed, friendly visitors brought rumors of an enemy that existed beyond the horizon. The people grew fearful, yet nothing happened. One day, the, new, the usually sunny sky became dark as night, and black ships appeared on the horizon. The lookout post's attempt at peace were turned away, and the sentries there were easily overwhelmed. The ships continued to wreak havoc on the city, apparently destroying everyone and everything. After the foundation of the city was destroyed, the city sunk deep into the ocean, and only the lookout post remained. The black ship sailed away. The man continued to say that eight people had hidden and managed to survive the attack. In the nine years since the attack, two of the survivors had died. He also said that ten years from the attack, the enemy would return to avenge the destruction they had started so long ago. I have decided, since hearing the man's story, it would be admirable to, solve the uh, to save the civilization and to stop the enemy's plan of destruction. I am excited about the adventure that awaits me, and an idea has sparked in my mind to provide the needed defense for these people. I met the remaining survivors today, and they've begun work for a plan for protection. After a short absence, I've returned to this age with my two sons. They have, as of yet, rarely traveled with me, and they are understandably excited to be here. They have grown considerably since the Ever Dunes, and it is already obvious to me that they will be of great help this time, instead of the nuisance they have been in the past. All three of us, along with four of the healthier survivors, began construction today. We are building upon the city's old ruins, which will provide a perfect foundation for our fortress. My sons have been spending uh, time on the South Island, where most of the materials are stored. I am very pleased with their, intelligent, their intelligence and their creativity is refreshing to see, as they work on some small projects of their own. It has been over four months now, and the construction is going well. My sons love this world, except for its grey sky. They detest the grey sky, and tell me many times the witch's sky there was like the sky in mist. The old man I t uh, talk to tells me that the enemy is due in four months. I feel we will, we will be ready when time comes. The man reminds me of Emmett in many ways, and I often wonder how Emmett and his people are doing. It has been six months of work, and we have finally uh, arrived at the fortress. It now rests between three hills, which are now only islands due to a rising water level that the people experienced after the attack. Inside the fortress, I've designed a most intriguing device. It makes use of a technology called holography. I began experimenting with on my visits to Aspermere. I will begin working on it in a couple days after I compensate for some small miscalculations. This hollow device will now uh, this holographic device will enable me, uh, the survivors to learn the use of the fortress. The enemy is coming soon, and I trust the fortress will provide sufficient protection for all of us. The black ships have come. Their attack was substantial. Their weapons have been stopped, and it appears they have turned away in defeat. I cannot help but smile as I watch the boats leave. Last night we had a small celebration, and the old survivors danced their dances of old. My sons did not understand why the sky had not turned back to its original blue. The old man told me that the storms would never end until the ships were destroyed. I assured my sons that a blue sky was not worth the risk of death, and they seemed to, he uh, to hear me. I have had a healthy adventure, and have began work on a new book. Once again, I must leave a familiar age in search of a new universe I have begun. But first, I will have an extended time with Catherine, with whom I miss very much. I must also return to the people of the Tide. I believe in my travels, and I have found, uh, found substance that will ease the pain of their bone ailments that I have long endured. 
I hope to return to Mechanical Age one day and find the population growing in my fortress still strong. Though the sky may always be black, I am confident that the people here feel a lot heavier darkness has been lifted from their shoulders.